what a wild week of Tinko Cordless we have had with the Wall of Death Cordless, as Mr. Hoover Lux called it. Yes! Thought we would do one last video just while all the deals are still live. Whilst you could pick up any one of these that you see for a lot cheaper than usual. I've been using the A10 and A11 quite a lot over the last couple of days so we're gonna actually clean up one last time because Felix made a mess which I left and then we'll go through how they've coat see how bad the filters are and yeah give you my rambling thoughts and opinions plus if you saw yesterday's video with me custom fax powerhead I think we should pit my favorite one of these Tinko cordlesses against that a bit later on so Let's have a roundup. Vacuum Kalina chums, how are you today? Yes, the old ball of cordless has been great fun indeed. As has working with all the brands that I've worked with this Black Friday. Oh, nice to be wanted, isn't it? But yeah, now it's time to see how they dial. And well, I got the A11 Hero down first, so we'll have a look at it. Now I'm gonna say pretty early on that this isn't actually my favourite machine to use it's certainly my most favorite to look at and even though it's full of dirt i took this to my grandmother's house the other day i happened to be passing so i chucked it in the car and yeah it's done all right i mean it looks pretty dusty i mean it's sort of going to isn't it we have pretty much no charge left on the battery but hey it's been used we have things to clean because yes you have to maintain these things of course you do so let's get it emptied and we'll see what state it's in now obviously any normal sensible person would hold it over the bin and empty but of course we are not normal or sensible on this channel so we'll take that off first and we have a little bit of dusty dust around our motor ring but oh, it works there. But that's not too bad. The post filter is absolutely spotless as they usually are. I haven't noticed Tinko actually get any dirt out of the motor at all, which is quite surprising really because and I know people have mentioned it and I've mentioned it before and I'm going to mention it now. Filtration is, I mean, it's not bad because it doesn't get any further than that, but of course it gets there and that's... I don't know, maybe I'm just too used to, you know, bagged old vacuum cleaners that don't really get any dirt at all out from, well, even onto their filter from the bag. Maybe I'm just a little bit jaded and it is just a cordless thing. But, equally, the manual does say, clean the filter after every use. And, well, that would certainly fix the problem, but I don't know if I want to do it after every use. We're going to get to the Victor V9. To clean all this mess up, another machine that I was gifted. Yes, do have a few freebies on this channel. I like to show you things. If people want to give me things in order to show you, I will. But of course, I give my unpopular opinion as well. Let's clean this up.
And I guess also I'm slightly biased in that having, you know, 40, 50, <coughs> 80 odd vacuum cleaners knocking around the joint isn't too unusual. But I don't know, would any of you, if you own a Tinko as a normal, you know, person, would you have a second vacuum cleaner to be able to do that with? It makes it a heck of a lot easier because, again, that's basically back to brand new now. Little dusty dust off. Did notice some hair caught around the roller, and I've also just realised that I don't have anything to undo the half turn. So we shall. There you are. Get a screwdriver for that. Yeah, because we need to take that off. We need to take out the brush rod. Never forget, this is the head that did about seven mess tests, thanks to me either deleting the footage because the bird stopped the video or doing it again for other people. So I'm pretty confident to say that that felt strip on the edge of the brush rod is actually on this side as well, look, because you can take the other main cap off as well. And yeah, a bit of hair wrapped around it. Of course, you would get that off, you know, pretty easily. You just take the brush roll out and either just run a knife down or, as I'm going to do, use another vacuum cleaner. And as utterly simple as that is, we want the bearing on this side. We are cleaned and tidy. Ooh. And pretty much ready to go. One down, two to go. We get the next one down. Put this away. The next one, of course, is the A10 Hero. Oh, bless it, the A10 Hero. And it too is quite dusty. I think I actually emptied it not too long ago. Because again, I've been using these. I haven't actually used the flipping cordless pneumatic since all these arrived. Such is my dedication to you. I'm not a huge personal fan of stick vacs. Obviously, these are pretty nice stick vacuums, but they're not my personal choice. Hence why we got the NBV. See, that one's not horrific. I cleaned it, put it back in, and I think I've gone around once. And it's okay. Yeah. It's not bad, but it can be horrific. It's a bit odd, really. I'm not quite sure how they can get around it either, because it's, you know, the, the cyclone design is quite good. But, again, I could just be overreacting quite badly. Put that in there. Again, one nicely cleaned up enough cyclone assembly. Like so. Oof, put you on there. Post motor filter on this is ooh, not too bad. I don't know. I can, I can see a little bit of dust on it. I don't know. This is like a ghosting of it. I don't know if I can hold it in the right light. Again, it could just be my eyes. I mean, eh. oh, oh, oh. Eh, it's. It's okay. Certainly in here is absolute spotless, which is why I think it's just my eyes, because that would be quite filthy as well. So yeah, you know, although the filter gets covered, it stays on the filter. And that actually brings me to answer the question that I mentioned earlier, in that this one's actually my favourite, mainly because it's a fair bit cheaper than this one, even though this one looks absolutely stunning. But note how they turn on, on just normal mode, This is a two-speed and this is a three-speed. And this starts off low, it's very confusing. This starts off lower than this. In order to get this about the same, it needs to be in set in two. To be about comparable. With this on its normal setting, of course, this has a bigger motor. So pump it into set in three. And it is a bit more powerful. But in terms of just grabbing and not having to touch anything and going, I would pick this A10 Hero because, yeah, it's just, oh, it, it, it is better, I have to say. Right, oh, 
I'm getting lost with which floor head goes where. Yeah, it's, it's just got more power on its default setting. Oh, we have a fair bit of fluff and hair in this as well. Not too much, I'll be my door to that will. Let me dust this up and again, do this once a week, once a month. You're not going to have any real issues. Basically, just like so. You pop it back in. Job done. Everything is nice and spotlessly clean. We'll give the Pure One S12 a glance because, again, I have been using it, although it's empty at the minute. Because, bless you, you've had your turn, S12. You know, we're down to the newer ones, and as nice as the S12 is, and as much as it has got a slightly better floor head in terms of deep cleaning, it's a lot bigger and a lot heavier. And obviously you have the eye loop. And I think this is a fair bit more powerful than even this one, but I don't know, these are just nicer to hold. The old Pure One S12, it is a bit big, it's more of a you know bigger size vacuum replacement. And of course it does the same thing with its filter, so and that's because obviously these all have the same basic design that we could take that out and put this in and it would work absolutely fine. Even all the tools work as well. So fair play to Tinko, they found their niche and they're sticking to it. And yeah, I, I can understand it. I don't think there's much point rewriting the book for each cleaner. Three out of three, just a couple of seconds is all it takes, and they are ready to use again. Marvellous! There we go. Crikey, we have a mess again over here. Let the ball of cordless sure doesn't take long to look pretty dirty. And of course, sticking with the Tinko theme, I have my motor one hair dryer which is still going absolutely fine obviously my daughter uses it more than me but use it she does i mean look a little bit of dust around there not too bad though with a dent in it as well i wonder how that happened it takes a battering i have to say this just sits in the corner of the room and it's really quite solid like it a lot and of course the floor one s12 which has already had its own video so we don't need to revisit that, ha, oh, right, tidy all this up, and yeah, we're back out with the old box so filth for a little bit of a versus test, because yes, this is brilliant, obviously, I filmed that video yesterday a while ago, it's a bit dirtier now, but equally it hasn't broken, I'm going to use the A10 Hero, which is my favourite of all the ones that I have, Tinko wise, because yeah, just the best value for money. So, we're going to leave it on auto, do a pass forwards and backwards, and then we'll do a pass with the pneumatic. It's full again now, but equally it did it very well. Look, we didn't even leave it in place. Now, oh, move the floor on S3 out of the way before I smash it and cry. Now we'll turn this on. Oh, it's very big. So, on with the power head. Oh, look at the cheek. No. Do that then. Turn the machine on. Oh, look at the snow plowing. But, oh, I'm sorry, Tinko. I think you need to revise your floor head design and perhaps smash a active energy 40 volt battery onto the top of it and fit it with a really stiff brush bar. I mean, normally, if there was a Vax blade attached to the end of that head, 
I actually say that you know the Tinko is the better machine because we all know what vax blades are like. They've been a vax, don't they? But obviously, because we are Becco 1987 here on this channel, we can hack things together and actually make something truly astonishing. But obviously, you can't buy this as a whole. Look, oh, yeah, there we go. You can't buy that as a kit and. The machine itself costs a heck of a lot more than £120, which the A10 has been going for this bank holiday. Obviously it's full now, so we're not going to get much more up. But yeah, I mean it makes a great combo, cannot lie, but obviously bagged just is a little bit better. Right, let's get the rest of this dirt back up. We'll keep using the A10. One thing I have sort of noticed is it's a little bit noisy. I mean, you don't notice it too much when you're actually using it, but I think it's just those front wheels, bless, and they're just a little bit small and tinny. But yeah, everything else is alright. We've got some more fluff on the brush well, and I'd imagine we have ourselves a pretty dirty filter after. All of that, not, not, not too bad. Don't forget, all that test dirt does have a heck of a lot of actual dirt in it because it's from the pneumatic, so it isn't just clean the sawdust by any stretch of the imagination. But this one is still running okay. And then just to quantify my points earlier about the fact that I do think that the Floor 1 F12 is the better one, is if we turn it on and stick it in max, I bet we'll pull up all the fine dust that's still on this rug. It's just a, a better head, really. I can't, there's not much else to describe it as, really. I mean, you could be silly, of course, and fit it to the newer Tinkos, and it'll work just fine. So, there is an option if you start to find these Tinko heads cheap on eBay. What's the model number for this one? Look, it is. That look, Multitasker Power Brush FB1878. This is just uh, FB1676E. They're both 40 watts as well. No, actually, no, this wow, that, that's why this one's 75 watts and this one is 40 watts. So, yeah, definitely playing into the you know whole house range here from Tinko and quite nice, I suppose, that you can mix and match as well if you want but we're not going to mix and match we're going to stick with them 
as they intended. Yeah, lots of lots of dust in the S12 now. Its filter is pretty peaky as well, but they do keep on running. They're not the last word in anything really, but they are the first word that comes to my mind. And you know, reasonably priced, do an all right job. Yes, you've got to keep on top of the filters. No, you can't use them wet. Yes, there's better things. Yes, there's worse things. For the price that these are, they get the Beko thumbs up from me. And I'm not just saying that because Tinko gave them to me. If they were rubbish, I'd say they were rubbish and slightly iffy filtering aside, which again, you know, I've, I've had this S12 for years now and its filter, can't really see, my little light's dying, but its filter is still pretty spotless in there, I'll never show you that, but so it all seems to stick to the filter and come off. So that is it. This is the end of Black Friday. If you're watching this video on Friday, crikey, you've only got a day left to buy something. You don't have to buy anything, of course. You can just watch the videos. But if you did buy something, you can make Tinko very happy indeed. As for the all these cordless vacuum cleaners, well, the wall of cordless probably isn't going to stay up for very much longer, bless it. I don't really have much space to store it. And of course, I have all of these Tinko vacuum cleaners now. And I am thinking of some way that we can see these all again. So who knows, one day we may, well we will, I just need to work out when, where and how, we will see these Tinkos again. And of course I will keep on using well, my Floor One S3 daily, as you can see, look, it's got water in it. And the Moda One will stay plugged in Upstairs 24 7 hasn't caught fire yet. Thank you very much, Moda One. Yeah, Ooh, we can make the world's biggest tin cola. Can we get all three done? Oh, blimey. I mean, it reaches very well. I'm giving people another sneak peek of the actual disgusting state of my front room at the minute. This is quite long. Uh, I don't even know if it, oh, it does. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's a bit wobbly. And I can't actually stand it upright because it hits on the ceiling. Fun fact, indeed. But yeah, if you were so inclined, you could have the cleanest ceilings in the world with Tinko. So, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Black Friday week. Thank you for all your comments so far. Please keep them coming. Normal service will be resumed on the channel as madness is over. But yeah, I will find a way that we can revisit all of these, perhaps for a slightly longer amount of time, in small, say, chunks of a couple of weeks. I don't know, really. Comment down below with what you think we should do. And until next time, thank you very much for Tim Cove for sending me all of this over the last couple of years. I hope you're happy with my videos. All of my community seems to like you fairly well. And yeah, I'm sure we'll see some more stuff along the way when it's released. Cough S5 Pro Cough. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I, Andes, will see you soon. Bye-bye.